For five days now, General Kari Kihura has been detained without charge or trial in any courts recognized in the Constitution. Just like the English adage goes, as you lay your bed, so you will lie in it, General Kihura would have never predicted that the review he advocated for would at one time be used against him. So the question of being of this 48 hour room, in the region, Kenya and, and Rwanda have actually revised it. They now have provided for seven days uh, somebody, a suspect to be in police custody for seven days instead of 24 hours. At least that, it's more realistic. A UPDF press statement released by the force's spokesperson, Brigadier Richard Karimire, on the 14th of this month, notes that the general is being questioned on a matter the details of which cannot yet be divulged. Dr. Daniel Ruweza, the chairperson of the Rule of Law Committee at the Uganda Law Society, says two wrongs cannot make a right, and he believes General Kihura should be presented before a competent court and charged formally. You've arrested them. Tell them what is required of them. If it is to take them to court, take them to court. If you are not ready, you can still take them to court, read out the charges, let people know why they are actually being deprived of their right to freedom. Dr. Weza says following proper procedure will give credibility to Kihura's arrest and the UPDF will be viewed as upholding the rule of law. That is the beauty of the rule of law. That even when you don't agree with it, it is there to serve you and serve you when you need it the most. If this is to happen, General Kihura and his accomplices will be presented to the court martial for trial. But the court martial cannot hold any sessions because the term of office for the current committee has expired. The president can easily, by an instrument, he has the powers, he can renew the contract or the terms of reference of the existing members of the court martial. Julius Galisonga, a human rights lawyer, says this could be a planned move to frustrate the entire process. Kaihura's arrest and being kept in prison is one of those things that is suggesting that, well, you are for star general, but well, you are not that important. If General Kihura is tried in the court martial, he will be the highest ranking officer to appear in the dock. This will have implications on how the committee trying him will be constituted. A general cannot be tried by someone who is uh, of a lower rank than him or her. There is no doubt that the former Inspector General of Police, General Kari Kihura, executed his duties with loyalty and also fulfilled the missions of the Commander-in-Chief in detail, but with what looks like a well-orchestrated move to have him and his accomplices indicted. Is this a person the government would want to see in the dock. When you finally put that man in the dock and to now putting yourself on trial. General Kari Kihura's arrest and detention comes on the heels of the president's tough stance on insecurity in the country and it is alleged that there could be incriminating evidence that senior police officers under Kaihura's direct command could have been involved in undermining national security. Walter Mwesije, NTV.